B -b 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 bad bad to the bone B -b 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 bad bad to the bone it catches fish it does it with style and I'm open this box because it may be a while oh baby this reel is so sweet B -b 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 bad Bad to the bone, da -da -da -da. bad to the bone, da -da -da -da. bad to the bone. It's a wicky jig and real, that's bad to the bone. Bad, bad to the bone, a wicky jig and real, a bad to the bone. Number two, bad to the bone. Oh yeah, bad to the bone, da 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 da, da 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 da, da 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 da, da 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 da. It's bad to the bone, bad to the bone. Alrighty, folks, as you heard, Wiki Jig and Reel number two. Number two. And, you know, the old saying is you got two sides of the boat. You got to have that baby covered. So I got two sides of the boat, and I got it going to have it covered with some Wiki Reels for personal fishing, of course. Oh, God. I just love these, so I second day aired myself another one. All the way from California, USA. But this is only half of this video. Is the Wiki Jigging Reel number two. Um, I got a lot of comments off the blog. And a lot of people voiced their concern that the entire time I was doing that vlog video I was in pretty much excruciating pain and it all had to do with the elbow um, I'll give you just a little history just so you know no it wasn't um, I didn't have tennis elbow didn't have fisherman's elbow didn't have anything like that it wasn't a muscle issue, it wasn't a bone issue. Uh, I spent six hours yesterday at the VA hospital in Gainesville, Florida. Number one, it's a two hour trip there. I was there for six hours and it's a two hour trip home. I had x-rays, I had um, CT scan, um, then that other thing they do to pregnant women. I can't remember that, what that is. Is when they wipe you along here and they take images or something. What do they call that? Well, I can't remember. But, you know, to look at babies. They do it across women, you know. To look at the baby in the womb. They did that from literally my armpit all the way around, all the way down, all the way to my wrist. They probed me with that thing with the gel running up and down. And let's see, two or three times blood pressure monitoring and uh, lots and lots of sitting around with my dad, which is great. I mean, he's great. He went for a full day of medical fun with Dave. Um, what it turned out to be was an infection that attacked this whole area of my elbow and my arm. Yesterday, while sitting in the VA clinic, number one, I couldn't even move it. When I did that vlog video, it was stuck right here. Locked it down, the infection. And my arm was 
like massive Popeye right here. And um, it's better now. It's still a little sore in here. It's a little sore right there. Yesterday I had like almost fluid. It was all puffy in here. But the, the moral of the story is last Thursday I had an appointment um, just to check up with my VA doctor. And I was there. And while I'm there, she says, would you like to get a pneumonia shot? It would probably be a good idea. And I said, well, yeah, my mom had pneumonia. My aunt had pneumonia. A friend of mine's mom had pneumonia. Everybody had pneumonia there for a while. But they're all much older people than I am. And I said, I voiced my concern. I said, am I really of the age where it's going to be so bad that I'm going to get pneumonia? And she says, hey, just it's available right now. Go ahead and do it. Well, of course, you know, they give you a shot right up in here. I think my entire infection in my elbow, which was literally four days of pure hell. I mean, I really, really feel for people who have one arm. I mean, you don't know until your arm is sitting here and you can't move it. And it's sitting there throbbing, just boom, boom, boom. I mean, when we went to the VA hospital, I had two hours worth of sleep that day, uh, which was yesterday, that night, and then spent the whole day in the hospital. Uh, so I had two hours worth of sleep. Um, and then, of course, last night I slept like an absolute baby. And I'm now on... Two difference of antibiotics, a pain and inflammation pill, and got to take all these pills until they're gone to knock this out. But I mean, these pills taking two doses of some kind of um, antibiotic really is knocking this out. And the other one for infl inflammation is keeping, there's no, I don't, it's not puffy anymore. But I truly believe that if I did not get that pneumonia shot, I wouldn't have had this happen. Because what in my lifestyle would give me an infection inside my arm? Inside, in here. The infection attacked inside here. Okay, in a matter of just a couple days. I got this whole entire paperwork from the VA doctor in the hospital about, you know, skin infections and all this. Well, if it was an infection, it was on the inside of my skin, okay, or something. It was so bad that, um, in all reality, they couldn't even figure out what was wrong, but they weren't going to admit. What they were doing was going, okay, let's check this, it's not this. Let's check this, it's not this. Let's check this, it's not this. And they ran out of things to do. Okay. Yesterday at the hospital, they ran out of things to do. So what did they do? They gave me a whopping dose of pills. And a couple of, um, of these pills are dang horse pills, man. Which, that's what I sort of expected. I expected a big needle and a shot or something. And a bunch of pills. But that took six hours, I guess, to do. Um, so thank you for everybody. Uh, you know, m the comments, and I was looking at your comments while I was sitting, you know, in line at the x-rays and everything at the VA hospital in Gainesville. I was seeing everybody's comments and all, but um, that's what it is. So beware. I usually don't get flu shots, and I don't get shots, preventative shots. Because I live sort of in my little bubble here. Yeah, I'm meeting a lot of new people from other parts of the country, shaking hands with them or whatever. But like you saw maybe in my first vlog, I'm, I'm a bit of a little germaphobe where like at the grocery store and places like that, I hate touching those carts. And I wash my hands probably five, six times a day. Okay? So... How could I get an infection in my elbow if I didn't get a shot in the arm right there? 
It took two days, Thursday, late Thursday. Um, it's when I got the shot. Then on Friday, I might have had a little, you know, soreness starting. And then Saturday morning on that charter with Kyle and Sarah that you saw in the, in the vlog video. At that moment, while we were out there fishing, my arm is like locking up. And it's just aching like no tomorrow. I mean, I was standing there talking to him. I mean, I asked Kyle if he ever noticed. But I mean, I throughout the day, I, my elbow was just coming to a complete lock. So I have a new enlightened thing. My old saying used to be, because I'm a baitcaster kind of guy, my thumbs are so important. You know, you cut my thumbs off, hell with waterboarding. You cut my thumbs off, I'm done. Well, now I just figured out, you lose an arm, <laughs> and you're a fisherman. I mean, you know, and you got to climb up in the boat. you got to pick up ice. you got to tote buckets of shrimp around. you got to clean the boat, get in and out of the boat. You are screwed. So, I'm, I got a new, I got like a new enlightenment, you know. But I just want to say thanks and show everybody, yeah, I got another one. I'm replacing these, the truth reels, with these. And they're going to go on the ugly stick tiger jigging, ugly stick tiger light jigging rod. And these are my going to be my really big, big fish. I mean, sharks, everything. I'm going to try on these. One of my favorite things to do in the summer is just buy, you know, if I'm just out by myself. I know you can't get away from the sharks. When and you're out and you're just goofing around at the jetties in the summertime, you can't get away from the sharks. So one of the things I like to do is bottom fish and catch a lot of croakers, a little sand trout and things like that. And I put on a 200-pound leader with a big old just single hook on it. And I... I hook them things in the back and I like to drift over the ends of the jetty rocks and just flake out a little sand trout or something on a uh, high getting ready to fall tide and oh my god them sharks will just blister you and it's fun it's a it's a really fun way of just testing tackle out real quick real quick and dirty tackle tests and I'm going to probably be doing that with these and I've, I've done it with lots of rods and reels late uh, over the years. One of the more famous ones is where I'm taking an ugly stick catfish rod with a Tran X, Shimano Tran X on it, which is the biggest low profile bait casting reel in the entire world that Shimano makes. It's a $500 reel. And I threw a croaker out over the top of the South Jetty and started drifting. And caught a big old black tip. And if you know where the old sea turtle inn is, where it's now one ocean out on the beach, from the south jetty to in front of one ocean is when I finally got that, that shark to the boat. By the time it was all done, he broke the leader and everything. I had to change cameras. I had to fight him with one arm underneath, you know, with a rod underneath an arm while I'm changing out cameras because the battery went bad in my old Hero 2s. And I'm battling and I'm battling. And I finally get him to the side of the boat. And I grab the leader and he just goes, pow, just right underneath the crimp. He just pops it. Well, that was doing that. That was testing out how tough the uh, Shimano Tran X 500, what was that? A HG, high gear, ra gear ratio reel on an ugly stick catfish rod. And I mean, that video has just tons and tons of views. So, in conclusion, thanks for all the uh, comments on the vlog. And I'll try to answer everybody's questions. I tried to, I answered everybody's questions from the vlog at 2.33 o'clock this morning. This morning of today, which is the first, you know, the day I'm back from the, the VA hospital. But the arm's doing much better. My big concern was climbing in and out of the boat and possibly pull an anchor and I got plenty of power here I'm just waiting I can't really 
I mean, it's really kind of locked. I mean, when I say locked up, when it was locked up, it was locked. Now I can actually, I can't touch my ear like this. Can't do that yet. And it doesn't straighten out. The arm does not go completely straight yet. But it's getting better. I have, I've been getting texts and friends of mine asking me how you doing and everything. Because they know. They know that as a fisherman, all your body parts better be working and working good. So, thanks a lot to everybody. And, really, if this wind ever lays down. I mean, it's over in Gainesville yesterday, which is, you know, west and south of Jacksonville, two hours. We came out of the Gainesville VA hospital yesterday. And you could have sworn there was tornadoes. There was people blowing across the parking lots. The trees completely bowing over, over there. Uh, so, but at least this is a north wind today. Today's uh, Thursday. I believe today's Thursday. I, sometimes I don't even know. But um, uh, if it was blowing over there, I can't imagine what it was doing over here yesterday. So we're having a ton of high winds. Let this wind get out of the way so we can go fishing. So, thanks a lot. I appreciate the views, the new viewers, the older viewers, for, for coming on by and checking everything out. And this is just a little thank you. Till next time, either in the Wolf Den or out on the Jetty Wolf, I'll see you later.